So in this video, I'm going to show you how to target a specific area and show it and adjust the CSS. And particularly for this example, we will adjust the line height for this paragraph. It's something Crystal had asked about how to do, so I just wanted to make a quick tutorial video on how to do it. So I'm using Chrome, and I'm going to right click and click Inspect. And that will bring up the developer tools, the Chrome Inspector. And you can see that if I mouse around uh, here, it's going to highlight that particular area on the page. I can also click this little arrow and I can decide, I can move my mouse around on the page and decide which um, area I want to target. So you can see as I do that, um, the little bl uh, black box there pops up to show you in the code which uh, div or which area you are uh, targeting. So in this case we want to uh, select this entire paragraph and so we are just going to click it until it's highlighted like this and then we'll go ahead and click once and that will select it down here in the code it will also bring up the uh, CSS for that element over here in the styles now it'll, it will bring up the ones that are directly related first and then it will bring up CSS that uh, is inherited or you know related in general to that element based on the overall site CSS as well but right now we just want to look at this uh, these that are directly related so you can see here that the class for this paragraph is this se-t sie-about underscore three dash text and then you have like all these other things and over here we can see this SIE dash about underscore three dash text this is the specific piece right here this is this about underscore three text and if I were to adjust this I'll be adjusting uh, the ST dash D dash paragraph is going to adjust all of the instances of a paragraph block like this on the page. So for example, let's uh, since we're going to be talking about line height, let's change this to uh, 2.8 instead of 1.8. Now this is defaulting to uh, 2.8 EM and uh, it's just assumed that that's what it is. So you, you can also put the M, EM in as well. So I could that's really kind of the proper way to do it. And uh, if we look here, you know, it adjusted this line height, but it's also going to adjust line height everywhere that you used a paragraph like this one. And so if we want to um, adjust only the single paragraph, we need to make sure that we are targeting that um, specific class. And so it's assigning a unique class to each paragraph. And this one is the about underscore three. So if we were to scroll down here and look, you can see this one is the studio underscore one uh, and so we could adjust this independently or we can come back and we can adjust this one independently so this this first element or this first uh, class is the one that's going to apply only to that specific instance and this is going to apply to all instances of paragraphs on the page so if we wanted to adjust the line height for only this paragraph. Uh, we can't adjust it here because that will adjust it everywhere. Uh, and this, since it's not specified, since we don't have line height specified here, it's inheriting it from uh, the overall instance. So it, it's inheriting it from the parent, which is this paragraph class. So we can just include that here. We can say line height and we'll just do something uh, drastic again 2.8 EM and we can see that now it does not adjust it anywhere else on the page only in this particular paragraph now notice I didn't even tell you if you're not familiar with the Chrome developer tools you can mess around with all the code all you want on the site uh, and it doesn't actually change anything on your site. It just gives you a preview of what would happen if you did change that code. Uh, it's really fun. You can get rid of things. You can adjust CSS all you want and just play around. It's like a sandbox. Just uh, 
And you can do whatever you want here and it's not going to change anything or affect your sites all um, at development as soon as you hit refresh it's going to go back to exactly the way it was and all of the changes you made here are not going to be saved uh, you can also practice if you click the little plus here you could add a new style and it's going to um, you know default to the selected the selected class and so whenever I hit that plus and I did this I will uncheck this one and I'll actually go in here and I'll say line height 2.8 EM and then if I wanted to actually put this CSS into my style sheet I can now copy it here and I can paste that directly into my style sheet and it will make that change so it's really nifty to be able to play around with it and write your CSS here in the Chrome developer tools and that way you can see what's happening live as you do it before you have to like paste it in and click save and refresh it and you know it be live on the website so people are seeing it if it's if it's a mistake you can just do it here in Chrome developer tools and this you know will give you the exact class that you need and uh, you won't have to worry about having to you know write all of this out you can just copy and paste it exactly like it should be all right hope that helps if you have any other questions let me know